Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I have breaking news on the beloved hoverboard, cyborg, motorized skateboard thingamabobber. So as of today, January 1st, there is a new California law and regulations list for our brand new toys that we probably got for Christmas. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's one of these. Okay. So this is my board, oh, I'm matching. How cute am I? Wasn't exactly planned, but kind of. So first of all, these are extremely heavy. They're about 22 pounds. And it looks like this has its cute little wheels. It's two wheels, I got a white one. These two have blue lights when you ride it in the dark. Okay, I'm putting it down, it's too heavy. Oh. But I love my board so much I really wanted one not just because Chris Brown and Justin Bieber have them but because they're actually a lot of fun so these things are known as hoverboards but if you are a back to the future fan or someone who's actually like realistic no they don't hover they just roll we're supposed to have hoverboards in today's age we failed we dropped the ball on that one but for now this is what we have so there's a bunch of different brands i personally have a cyborg there's iohawk there's space chariot there's swagway uh funky duck like there's a bunch of different brands now but this one is actually a legit one you know one that's not from china that's gonna like catch on fire after an hour of use but we still don't know what to call them like in general. Cause if you call them a hoverboard, people will get mad because it's not like the one from Back to the Future. But if you don't call them a hoverboard, then you gotta call them an electric two wheeled personal self balancing scooter. And that's not cool at all. Oh, don't mind me, just on my two wheeled self balancing electric scooter board. And of course, since we're having too much fun on these boards, there's gonna be someone that's gonna be like, wait, we need some rules and regulations. California has made some fun little laws for us. Let me share them with you. So as of January 1st, today, there is a new motorized board law for California. This is for hoverboards, scooters, etc. Now, first of all, you must be 16 years or older to ride. So everyone that's 15 years or younger that got one for Christmas is currently pissed. But honestly, we've all seen more adults fall than kids. I've seen kids do like dance tricks and moves on YouTube, so we need to think about who really should be qualified to ride these things. Must wear a helmet. Obviously, we only want these things to look cool because you're like swagged out. And the only thing that can kill the swag of a swag board is a helmet. So I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna wear a helmet. It's just very unlikely. Now this is a law that kills me. It says, must ride on bikeways or highways under 35 miles per hour. So you mean to tell me these things are too dangerous, you know, cause I might fall on the sidewalk, but I could totally ride them right next to ongoing traffic. Okay, if I fall, which a lot of people do fall off of these things, I much rather fall on the sidewalk and hit, you know, someone's dog versus falling in the middle of the street where a car could literally run over me. I'm not taking mine on the street. I'm not doing it. So now I'm pretty much limited to my driveway and the cul-de-sac. Now when these things first came out, no one knew what you could and could not do with them because there weren't any rules. Like it's faster than a skateboard, but slower than a car. So where do these things belong? So one, you cannot take them in the airport anymore. And we have Wiz Khalifa to thank for that because he literally got arrested on the spot for trying to roll around the airport. I mean, you are inside. If you can't skateboard inside, you probably shouldn't be able to be on your board inside. Okay, I get it. I actually had a friend who rode his into the mall and the security guard literally went up to said, hey, are you, are you allowed to ride that in here? He was like, I don't know, your security. Now, although we have these new California laws, at least for now, we can still ride them, which is the most important part because in the UK, they are banned. You literally just can't ride one in the UK at all. Same with New York City. So when it comes to all the rules of these hoverboards, all I can really say is, we gon' see. But for those of us that are cool enough to have one, let me show you how to ride it. 
So to turn it on, you just push the button and then you'll see a little green light appear in the middle that shows you that it's on and that the battery is charged. So now ready to get on, we're gonna stretch a little bit, get ready for our sideboard experience, couple lunges, okay, no, I'm just kidding. But you are gonna step on with just one foot and first you're just gonna get a feel for the board, just kind of move it around front and back until you feel comfortable with it. And once you're ready, you just step on with the other foot. Ta-da! You did it. You'll probably start to spin at first. That's what I've noticed everybody kind of does. You're just gonna get your balance until you figure it out. So in order to steer these boards, you pretty much have to let your body tell the board where to go. So for example, if you wanna go to the left, you're gonna push down on your right toe to turn that way. And if you wanna go to the right, you push down on your left toe. The slightest movement is going to turn you. Put them both forward, you'll go forward and move your heels back to go backwards. As long as you keep practicing this, you will soon get the hang of it and you will be whizzing around and dancing like a pro. Now the best advice that I can give you is how to get off of the board. The easiest and safest way is to just step backwards. If you step forward, you're probably gonna fall off. So just get your balance and take one step back. Easy as that. So that is everything I have to say about my beloved cyborg. Although they do have all these rules and regulations now, they are a lot of fun. And it's something that you just, you know, you get better with practice. If you do want one of these boards, I actually have a hookup to where you can get one at an affordable price that you don't have to ship from China, that won't catch on fire, that is under $1,000. So if you guys wanna know how you can get one of these, leave me a comment. And if you live in Southern California, I will let you know where I got my board. So until the government figures out how to ban these completely and give us a bunch of rules, enjoy the board that you have. Happy writing, don't fall, and enjoy your hoverboards.